Hey there YouTube, this is Dark Styles Video here, coming to you with another video about Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. This is still the closed beta, so there's still little things that I'm only allowed to talk about, like character creation that was just released from the NDA. So here is the human class that you are. Sorry if I completely butchered that name. Lance. It's actually a pretty nice looking class and her race. And there's the Elizin. And here are the cute little Lollapel. Nice kid looking race. And that's the Mikode. Kind of like the Mithra from Eleven, but a little different. There's finally a male version of it. Looks pretty badass. And let's see, go down, we have the Rogadin. Which I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. They're like the brute force type of race. You can see. And look, there's a female version. We didn't have a female version in 11. We do here 14, a Realm Reborn. Very nice. I think. Uh, I'm thinking about going with the Elizin. Yeah. I was an Elven in Final Fantasy 11 online. So I think we'll go with Elizin this time. I'm a little partial to the elves thing, so we'll go with Elizin. See, yeah, different stance. You can see how they move. Whoa, whoa, naked. Put the clothes back on. There we go. You change the scenery a bit, which you can actually do when you do a. Uh, you know, creating your character can actually change the scenery around. That's a pretty nice feature. I like that. See, there you go. Nice scenery, too. Kind of makes making your character, you know, a little fun. There's so many different customizations. That right there. See, every time you choose a race, there's two different types to that race. With Elizin, there's a Duskwhite and the Wildwood. Each has a different home place where they come from. Home world history. And here we go with the actual character customization itself. So many things, options, and details it goes into. You could truly make yourself you know, completely unique compared to everyone else. Me, I'm going to make my person look kind of like a black elf. Well, make it a little closer to my complexion a bit. Turn it around. I'm sorry if my computer lags in this a little bit. My laptop isn't exactly a gaming PC and I'm not exactly running this on the best specs that should be on my PC, so you have to forgive me on that. Hmm, some nice, nice choice in hair. I wish there was more choices with hair, but I'm guessing we get more choices with hair, you know, after the full release comes. This is only beta. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to change the color. The cool thing is you can actually add highlights to hair color in this game. A little more detail to customization. Way more detail to customization than the first. Final Fantasy 14 or even 11 for that matter. You could choose the facial features, different jaw types, eyebrow types, mouth, nose. Kind of reminds me of the customization you go through when you play games like Skyrim, you know, or Oblivion. And it kind of reminds me of that. So you can change the color of the eyes, it's pretty nice, to any color too types of eyes, you change the type of ears you have too, and with the Elizin you have kind of like an earring type of thing on your ears. I'm about to get to that customization here in a second. Just go through these. There we go. I'm gonna keep in mind how I have it. You can even choose the color of your earrings that you have on, that's pretty nice. Here's the facial features, like the facial hair, facial scars you could have. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that one. Just keep it there. 
Uh, there we go. And you can even have facial tattoos like you can see here. Now I'm gonna go with that one because it reminds me of the tattoo that Zell had for Final Fantasy VIII. And that was actually my favorite Final Fantasy out of all of them. Other than Eleven, Eleven I love, but Final Fantasy VIII, that, that holds, I hold a special place in my heart for that one. I want facial tattoos, like you see here. You can actually change the color of them. Pretty nice. And with this, let's see. Oh, okay. With this, you can actually choose the voice your character has when he performs strikes, when he takes a hit, when he does certain expressions, and actually choose what type of voice. It's actually pretty interesting. I, mean, I love this customization system they have with making a character. <clears throat> Go ahead and save that. Put it on the first slot, obviously. Don't have any other slots. Uh, I don't feel like putting a comment. Just gonna go ahead and save. Alright. Character saved. Now the Arizonian calendar. I don't know much about the Arizonian calendar or the Arizonian um, symbols that comes after this. So forgive me for not knowing too much about it. But in my next video I make between now and then I will do some research on it so I'll be able to explain it more. So with these symbols you see here, it kind of looks like they give little status buffs to things. Like some of them give a plus percentage to thunder or to fire, things like that. But again, I could be wrong, so I apologize if I am wrong on that. I'm going to do some more research on it between now and my next video. Here are the jobs you can have. Now it doesn't have all the jobs it's gonna be in the final release. So we got Gladiator, which is basically your sword and shield warrior. Puglis, which is basically your hand-to-hand -hand combat monk. Marauder, which is your two-handed weapon tank. We got Lancer, which that's self-explanatory, as well as Archer, which don't have to explain that. Conjurer is kind of like a white mage, and Thaumaturge is almost like a black mage. But I'm kind of partial to Puglis, because in Final Fantasy XI, I was a monk, and I enjoyed the hell out of just beating people with my fists. So I'm going to go with Puglis. Now to ch choose my world. Hmm. What do I want to be in? I'm thinking about going with Ifrit. And the game is lagging a little bit here. Well, not the game, but me. Here we go. Gotta confirm that. And there we go. Now I just have to make my name. Now with this, you have to basically make a first name and last name. Unlike 11, so I'm gonna go ahead. Koru. And uh, Dark Matter would be my second. My uh, my last name. Some of you that know me know me by cover Dark Matter and other video games. <laughs> and there is my character, all made to my liking. I will make other videos about in depth how to make you know, how they made other characters and you know the character creations of other races since that's been released from the NDA. But now I'll shortly talk about the contest. That some of you are probably wondering about from the title and the description. Well, there, in my YouTube channel, I've been wanting to have an intro to all of my videos. You know, to make my channel a little more official. But I figured, hey, why don't I just have my viewers, you know, get in on this and make them a part of it. So here is the contest. Between now and August 20th, I went anybody is viewing this you don't even have to be on my subscribers you don't have to be a subscriber you can i want you guys to make an amv video that has to do with anime and video games no more than 30 seconds long it could be less than 30 seconds but it cannot be anything more than 30 seconds the full rules are going to be in the description below the winner will receive their name in the credits of my video 
in every single video I make after this. And they will also receive my Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn Buddy Pass on the day the game comes out and I pick it up, I will send you the Buddy Pass code. Now I will explain the Buddy Pass code, how it works, in the description below. So read the rules, enter if you feel like you got a chance to win, and as always, gamers, keep on gaming.